this is Anjali and in this video we are going to do a question for GUI. As you know that these questions carry five marks in your exam, in the theory exam. So we will be doing how to answer the questions given with this screen where we have item code, quantity, price per unit which user is going to input and user is going to choose a class of city as 1, 2, 3. Depending upon that, we need to calculate the sales price, service charges and net price. Now the question says that if the city is of type 1, then 10% of sales price should be there. If it's 2, then 15% of sales price should be the service charges. If it is 3, then 20% of sales price should be the service charges. Now, for two marks, you have a question that is to calculate service charges depending on the selection of radio button. Also, calculate the net price on the calculate net price button is when the calculate button is clicked. Then for one mark, you have make service charges and net price text fields as uneditable. Then you have to code for the exit button that is close button to close the application. And then you have to code for the clear button to clear the text boxes. So, Let's start with the code. The first thing you need to do is close. That's the simplest thing you can write. So what we have to do in case of exit is we just need to write the fix command that system dot exit. So that system dot exit, your one mark is there. Then you have clear. Now in clear I have to answer two questions. One was that you have to make text fields blank. And the second one was that you have to make two text fields uneditable. So what I do is, to make it blank, you have to write name of the text field dot set text and it should be blank. So we leave it blank like this. We have six text fields. So this has to be done for all of them. So you have to write the same line for all six text fields over here. And we'll change this T1 to T2, then T3, T4, T5, and T6. Now the last two text fields, that is for the service charges and the net price, have to be uneditable. So we have a function for that called set editable. So when you write T5 dot, the function is set editable. And in bracket, you're going to write false. False means it will not be editable. Similarly, for T6, which is for net price, we have to set editable as false. So one mark for the clear thing and one mark for making your text be uneditable. So we've done the code of clear and close. Now comes the major code that is for calculate. Now what I'm supposed to do in calculate is I have to read the quantity I have to re read price per unit, multiply these two and the result should come in sales price. And depending upon the radio button selection, I have to show the service charges here and the sale price minus service charges would be the net price. So let's go and code for this. So what all variables are required? I need variables for the quantity. So I take QTY, unit price, let it be UP. Then I need total price, that is sales price, then SC for service charges and NP for the net price. Okay, so you have to read quantity. Quantity I have to read from T2. So I'll be writing integer dot percent and we have to read from T2. And to read you have get text and since it has to be converted to integer, we have integer dot percent. If you take double, then you have to take double dot Pass double depending upon the data type of your variables. So I am taking integers, so I have to use pass int. So I've read both the values. Now the selling price should be quantity multiplied by the unit price. And then comes the conditions where you have to check the service charges. So I will see if R1 is selected. If R1 is selected, then service charges is 10%. So 10 into the sales price divided by 100 gives me the 10%. Then I have to find out if R1 is not selected, 
but our two is selected then service charges should be 20% of the sale price else it should be 30% of the sale price and finally net price will be sales price plus service charges service charges are added to get the net price so we get this now we just need to show the thing so we have to show in t4 the sale price which is sp then i have to show the service charges that is sc and then i have to show the net price in the above i'll just make the change it has come set action so it should be set text okay so i've set all three values that's the code when you write this code you get two marks for this one and one two for this and one for system dot exit and let's see how does it work So in most of the questions, you either have radio buttons, check boxes, or combo box on the basis of which you have to check conditions. And according to conditions, just calculate something and show the result accordingly. So that is the major thing in all five mark questions. Okay, so we've got the screen. Item code is let's say A one two three. Quantity is seventy. Price per unit is ten. and i choose class of city as 2 and i click on calculate so it's showing 700 140 840 if i click on clear and i enter the values here again quantity is 80 price per unit is 50 and this time i want to give 10% service charges and when i click on calculate you get 4400 and 4400 after the service charges and if you try to type something in this text field you will not be able to do that because we did set editable as false that means we have made them uneditable so this is how you code for the gui screens and this question is very scoring since close and clear buttons are always going to be there and the coding almost remains same every time so these marks are for sure you just need to think and write this carefully to get complete 5 marks in this question hope you understood how it worked i'll be coming up with more 5 mark questions like this in the upcoming videos so stay tuned subscribe the channel so that you keep getting the notifications thank you